I voted against this report. Its timing is pretty appropriate, coming as it does a few short weeks after the 11th anniversary of the day Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi was killed during the NATO assault on Libya, sodomized with a bayonet and shot in the head. The NATO intervention in Libya carried out in the name of protecting freedom, democracy and human rights is one we do well to remember as NATO plays out its proxy war in Ukraine in the name of, you've guessed it, freedom, democracy and human rights. Because what happens after NATO intervenes in your country on this basis? Terror, death, lawlessness, rape, poverty, starvation. Libya is a country riven by conflict, its economy shattered, its population formerly the wealthiest in Africa ridden and mired in poverty. Migrants are bought and sold in slave markets. A million people rely on humanitarian aid. It's a country of mass graves, of crimes against humanity. This is NATO's legacy, this is NATO's rights strategy Herzlichen and democracy. Dank.